Alright guys, I welcome back again to another sweet awesome tutorial on PCB software design. I am George Steve and I'm still with you guys right here. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and look at something very sweet. Alright, and uh, remember, we are working together. You can go ahead and stop this right now or you go ahead and leave it open. Remember in the previous tutorial, I told you we need to stop it. Uh, but it doesn't have any formality, you can just leave it open and just move ahead. So I'm going to move my mouse to RS in case you don't know where your RS is. Just follow me step by step right now. All right. So guys, this is my RS in PC uh, Proteus. You can see that A R E S. Move your mouse here. And uh, I noticed that my mouse and the yellow icon are not together. They are just moving and dancing differently. So guys, don't ever be confused. All right. Because uh, I usually remove that in my tutorial, but I just left it here because I need it some time all right so go ahead and double and click on rs and uh, you can see that it's coming open right now and this is rs it comes open right now and uh the first thing i ask you is package selectors so what happened is that we have an led so guys remember i told you don't mind my yellow icon and my mouse so follow whatever i'm doing and then we're gonna move step by step all right so it's asking you for a package name for the led red because it doesn't have anything like LED red on RS. So if you don't get the name, it's gonna tell you that it doesn't exist in the library. So let's first of all see how it works. If I go ahead and put something like uh say that the package name is George and if I hit OK it's gonna tell you package George not found in any library. So click OK and go ahead and delete this guy from here. So I I believe that by now you don't even know anything or <laughs> yes, I believe that you don't even know the package and uh, the names we have in the packages and uh, because of that, I, I will be leading you step by step so that you're going to get to know how these have been done and uh, the secret behind knowing them because there is never a time you're going to know all the package names in there except if you are doing this every day like me, like myself that I used to practice every day. So go ahead and check put LED. I believe LED has a package name there and hit OK. So that LED is gone. This will show that the package name exists and it accepts that. So the next one is a TR1. That is a transformer. And uh, guys, you don't have transformer in here. Yes, there's no transformer here except it is really added in the new pretty use. Uh, RS, but as I much as I have designed circuit, I don't have nothing a transformer here. So even if you go ahead and put some like a tran, it never exists. And if you hear that, it's gonna tell you that package tran not exist or not found in any library. Go ahead and put that. Okay. So I uh, will advise you to do what? Skip this. And then we have other options gonna we need for this. Go ahead and put a bot or skip anyone. Go ahead and click skip. All right, guys. So this is where we are, and this is what we have right here. I believe that we see this and uh, I have something playing here. So go ahead and put this dotted. So this kind of thing you're going to see your own if this is the first time you're coming here. But I love keeping my plane. Yes, I love keeping it plain so that everything's going to look plain and look very sweet. All right. So while you are here right now, guys, the first thing you need to do is move your mouse down here. Move your mouse down. You can see top copper. Dust, um, don't mind this because what you're working is on the top copper and that is not what you're going to use right now. So move your mouse to 2D graphic box and that is where I am right now, 2D graphics box mode and click on 2D graphic box mode. If you've done that, move your mouse down here again. You can see that the top copper has changed. All right, click on this and it gives you some bunch of options here and move to board edge and click on board edge yes and what we have here now is board edge why are we clicking on the board edge first of all the reason why you click on the board edge is to make sure that you have an a board edge you work with because you have to get the size of board you are working with if you don't have a size of board i don't know where you're placing your components so there must be a board size you are choosing all right when you've done that move your mouse again inside here and uh the next thing you need to do right now is uh, left click on your mouse. I'm going to bring this close. Left click on your mouse and drag. You can drag to any size, to any board, of, uh, any board size you need. And this is the size I need right now. And if you've done that, lift both your hands off from that board. I hope your mouse and your hands are off from your mouse right now. And if you're that, click on your mouse. Boom. 
yes and this changes to yellow remember that your board edge down here is yellow so until you get see layer selector yellow until you get a yellow a uh, background a uh, yellow outline here that shows you've already done that very nice and this is what i have all right guys uh in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to import that directly from the proteus itself and in the next tutorial we'll go ahead and be doing that by ourselves because i don't like importing that from proteus because it stresses a lot and uh the sketches out there gonna is not gonna allow you to do that the way you want all right guys move your mouse to tools right now I hope you are there. Okay, if you are in tools, I still told you don't mind my yellow icon and my mouse, which are dancing differently. All right, so follow my ways and follow my steps as well. You are here on the tools, click on the tools, and uh, this is what you have. The options you have on the tools are many. And uh, move your mouse to auto placer right now. So this is what you have auto placer, and uh, I hope you are there right now. And click on auto placer. And uh, when you click on auto placer, you have this guy just shown to you. All right, that is very amazing. And here you have bridge, yes. You have electrolytic capacitor, yes. You have LED, yes. You have resistor, yes. You have diode and you have P1. Your P1 is your um, five volts regulator in case if you don't know what that is. So as we go on, you're gonna learn all this. And that is why I told you, I will not be using auto placer. I will be doing that step by step. I wanna show you how to design it from scratch from the next tutorial. But you need to know this so that in case you wanna auto place, you go ahead and auto place this. All right, move down here. And uh, you have all this bra, 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 bra. I don't need all these guys. Go ahead and click OK. All right. We are here right now. And uh, what this guy really did for you is this. Uh, I'm going ahead and zoom this. Yes, I have zoomed out right now. I'm going to bring this to the sender. Okay, that is amazing, guys. So I have all these guys just here, and uh, these are the things we have. Remember, I've never imported, I've never chosen these guys. They are really coming from our circuits and PCB uh, proteins. So you can go ahead and start to place this one by one the way you need them to be but guys this is gonna take almost all my time that is why i don't ever like it yes i'll come back again it's gonna take almost all my time because i should be doing this one by one you can see that it's going it's just out of placing itself and choosing the direction it goes and uh step by step everything on its own come on guy you have to right click and left click before you can be able to move these guys you see that you have to right click left click before you can be able to move these guys and you get to be arranging these guys one by one one by one and uh i will sit tell you why these colors are this way this is inside in case if you're working with inside color so in inner layer of this in case if you're working like four layers you have four layers like a gsm phone and uh uh laptops panels that have put like like four or five layers guys <laughs> you don't need to freak out all right going to freak out i'm going to teach you this step by step all right so this is all about auto placing this and uh remember i told you i will not be teaching you anything auto placer but i've already shown you how you can be able to auto place your stuffs and uh bring these guys from your uh proteins so in the next tutorial i'll go ahead and remove everything we have here and uh start to build this step by step with you I'll go ahead and show you how to pick this from your library one by one and uh, we design it, put it and it look very fine like the one you just see in the last tutorial. All right, uh, that the one you see in the first tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you gotta look, you gotta design things that are very amazing. All right, and I wanna, I wanna advise you to be auto placing this. In case you love auto placing, go ahead with that. That is very cool for you. But for guys who really wanna design from scratch, go ahead and follow me in the next tutorial. Let's design this step by step and build our power supply unit. Just the same thing we have there. And it's gonna look very small, very small because that is the essence of using PCB. It's gonna be very small integrated circuit that you're gonna carry on your hands and it's just very, is po pocket friendly as well. So thank you guys. I hope I've shown you how to use auto placer and uh, that is the 
major uh, aim of this project so that you don't be left out in case if you see someone doing that you say i never teach that so i think i've thought that uh, in the next tutorial i'll go ahead and remove it and we'll start our fresh so see you guys in the next tutorial and i'm still with you guys remember i am george steve and i'm still working with you guys to the end of this tutorial so let's see the next tutorial guys it's gonna be very amazing guys let's go by there right now